My name is Caitlin O'Mara. I'm a first year post-professional <laughs> athletic training student at the University of South Carolina. Today I'm going to be demonstrating how to do the Stimson technique. The Stimson technique is used for a glenohumeral shoulder dislocation. The first thing you want to do is read your State Practice Act and understand what is allowed in your scope of practice. Next, you want to communicate with your team physician and have a conversation about what he or she is comfortable with you doing on site. And for any type of dislocation, you want to get a thorough history, determine if there's fracture that you have to rule out, and you also want to complete a narrow exam. So for this maneuver, you're going to have the patient laying prone with the affected shoulder hanging off the table. You're going to take a towel, roll it up, place it underneath your clavicle to provide some leverage. And then you're going to take a weight. This is a 10 pound weight. You're going to have them hold it in their hand. And then you're just going to wait for the muscles to relax and for the shoulder to relocate on its own. The one disadvantage to this is that it does take a long time for the muscles to relax. So you're going to want to encourage the patient to relax as much as possible. If they're in pain in this position, I would encourage trying a different maneuver. Um, this could take anywhere from 10 to 20 minutes. So after 20 minutes, if they haven't relocated yet, you should decide to transport them to the hospital to be relocated there.